Hey guys, welcome back to AutoX. This is a channel where we feature some weird, wacky, wild, unusual, and unique vehicles. Today for you, we have a super rare, essentially Toyota Doka. Now, Volkswagen guys out there may recognize, you know, a Doka is, uh, is not this, but Toyota made them too, in a sense of the word. This is a 1996 Toyo Ace truck double cab four-wheel drive now these trucks uh, are really really hard to find in anything that resembles this condition some of you guys may see the fire truck versions of these on the roads a lot of those they're more plentiful um, they have a fire apparatus on the back this on the other hand is a factory low loading deck double cab with a factory canvas canopy and the three side flatbed. All three sides of the bed fold down, um, which makes it kind of a unique setup for access. This also has a, a factory scaffolding with a canopy. Um, the way that works is it's all bungeed down and has a zipper, but I'll go ahead and show you how this works. It's super cool, um, it's not something you know, we usually see here in North America. So you undo these little bungee straps for the canvas. And they have their little mounting points. And then this rolls up. And it has hooks up there. Once it's rolled up, I'm not gonna roll it all the way. You can check the photos, but here's the bed. All three sides here can fold down including, you know, you can just have it as the rear tailgate. Um, there's a nice built-in headache rack at the front. There's a interior light, and you can see this is all scaffolded from the factory. Super cool to see these, because not a lot of these are survivors at this point, um, which makes it, you know, a little bit more special. So looking around the side, it is 15-inch wheels all around. Up front, there are manual locking hubs, so you can just twist it to lock those up when you want to engage four-wheel drive. Normally, this is a part-time four-wheel drive truck, so it's got a part-time high-low transfer case. Uh, when you're not in four high, it isn't too high, so essentially rear-wheel drive, kind of like every other Toyota truck out there. Looking inside, um, this truck in its former life was a, a work vehicle for a paint company in Japan. Um, We've been able to kind of refresh it as best we could. It presents really well, but of course, um, it's got 77,000 miles in it, so not a whole lot of driving. But it definitely did work as a paint truck. There were signs of that when it arrived, and you know, there's uh, little spots um, in various places on the interior that uh, do have paint marks because the workers, assumingly, got in here with their paint on their clothing and it rubbed off on the interior. That said, we got most of it out. It's super clean this is the original vinyl flooring your transfer case lever is here so you can go to high or low range glove box which has the maintenance records from some of its history as well as the owner's manual which is very nicely animated however, in Japanese. There's also a road flare in the back there. So why don't we hop in, give you a closer look at the interior here. This is the updated version, so uh, it's a 98. Uh, they updated to the second generation after 95. Factory AM radio. Little tray for your stuff and cup holders here. This one does not option with AC, however, it's got heat clock here, hazards. This is a five speed floor shift. Um, big storage cubby here. 
and your four-wheel drive engagement switch. Pretty Spartan utilitarian interior, vinyl floors, heavy-duty cloth seats, all vinyl and plastic door cards, manual locks and windows at all four doors. Here's your rear bench, which can seat three. So this can seat a total of six people, which is really useful. It's really spacious. There's tons of headroom. Stepping into the back, I've got like plenty of room here to hang out. It's a true crew cab in all senses of the word. There's a little storage net here. And the cool thing about this is this folds down and it gives you kind of a really big center console thingy um, on your left if you're just the only driver. So, as I said, roll down windows, little ashtray for the passengers back when that was more of a thing. Solid rear window. Again, all vinyl flooring in here. This also has all-weather Toyota floor mats that we pulled out, but those are included and those are in really good shape. It's powered by Toyota's 3L engine, so that's a 2.8 liter naturally aspirated diesel engine. It's the same engine that they ran in the Hiluxes, solid axle Hiluxes and the basically all the Hiluxes throughout the 90s um, that were diesel and did not have the not so great turbo version. It's the engine you want. It's the engine that was in the truck that Whistling Diesel destroyed and the uh, older brother of the engine in the truck that Top Gear destroyed. So we got 124.9 kilometers on the clock. That's around 77-ish thousand miles, give or take. Shifts nicely, one, two, three, four, five, and your reverse is there. Um, your dash is crack free, it's in good shape. Rear view mirror, pop that back up. Again, belts for three up front and three in the back, so you can fit the whole gang in here and just uh, do it. Another ashtray for your front and cigarette lighter, 12 volt outlets, all the good stuff that you are used to seeing. All right, why don't we fire this up and uh, see if we can maybe take it for a drive. All right. Alrighty, let's do this. Parking brake. Tons of visibility. Remember in these things you're sitting over the front wheels, so it's a cab over experience, which means a little more bouncy, a little more visibility. You're way close up to the windshield, so yeah. It's just a different experience if you guys have driven a Vanagon or Volkswagen bus. Uh, it's kind of like that, or just any other Toyota van, pretty much. High Ace, Town Ace, all the good stuff. Got plenty of torque. Really, really nice power on this thing. I was actually pretty surprised when I hopped into it. It's a really zippy little van, truck van, doka thing. It's got a lot of character. Uh, 
these things are built to serve a purpose. They practically built Japan uh, with trucks like these. And they're really nimble and uh, easy to maneuver in city and small, tight environments. They also just make you smile when you look at them. This truck has been maintained well by the previous paint company that owned it. There are some nice records um, indicating a timing belt change that was done when it should have been done around uh, 100,000 kilometers, as well as fluids looking good. Um, the standard stuff was replaced um, prior to import, and uh, it just drives really nice. The brakes feel good. Power delivery is good, clutch feels good, uh, the gearbox feels really good. It rows th nicely through all five gears. Uh, we put about, about 200 miles on this so far and it's been fuss free. So the older versions of these pre-95 had the 2L engine, which is a 2.4 liter diesel. Uh, a lot of the fire truck specs that have been imported of these trucks uh, so far are powered by that engine. This one with the 3L, I think it does a much better job of moving the truck down the road. It's got much more comfortable cruising speed. It's geared better for highway, so you know you can cruise 70, 80 all day long in this one. The other ones were more of a 65 max situation. Oh, nice. There's a really sweet Bigfoot C8. Those are uh, nice, fun, and rare campers. Love them. I just, uh, it's hard to really reiterate enough how uncommon this version of this truck is. We look for these, uh, we have been looking for these trucks for probably the past six or seven years and finding one that's kind of set up like this in its original commercial use spec with the canvas canopy and the four wheel drive, the double cab, all of that stuff in factory single stage Toyota white 048 is the paint code on these ones. It's just so hard. It's so hard to find them. Um, most of them get used by companies. They get beat up and uh, sometimes even rusted out and they just don't present like this one. That's why most of the ones that have Brian brought over are fire trucks. So we're super proud to present this non fire truck Toyo Ace double cab um, 98 for sale at the time of this video. Real pleasure to drive this one. Really easy to steer, light and nimble steering, kind of whips around the road with real ease and high maneuverability. So I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. That sums up the video tour on this 98 Toyo Ace. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the presentation. And as always, if you like it, feel free to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. We really do love presenting these vehicles. We're passionate about them. 